Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be going over generate parentheses on LeetCode, uh, problem ID 22. This is a medium, uh, although it can be done very simply, uh, it still involves kind of like some backtracking DFS style thing. So that's why it's medium. Um, it's not extremely intuitive at the beginning. So yeah, so we're given N pairs of parentheses. So just simply an N as our parameter. I'll uh, write a function to generate all combinations of well-formed parentheses. So first we have to ask, uh, what makes a well-formed parentheses? Well, a well-formed parentheses means that each opening has a corresponding closing and they have to be in the right positions because they have to line up, they have to match up, and there also has to be an equal number of left and right parentheses. So uh, in brief, kind of like what we're gonna do here is we're gonna keep track of our left and right parentheses, right? And we're going to recursively generate this, uh, fill up some lists or some array list. And uh, we're going to just make sure along the way that we have corresponding left and rights. So the way that we're going to do this is uh, let's actually take this uh, result here and let's just name this uh, res. And this is just going to be an empty array list. And we know that we're going to return it at the end. And we also want to have like some a uh, helper function, right? Just some DFS. And let's go ahead and make that. And this is going to be DFS. It can be void because we're actually just going to fill up some result from it. Uh, we want to keep track of the amount of parentheses that we have left. So int left, int right. And just intuitively, you know we have to do this because we have to use n equals 3, like or n here. So we have to have n left and n right parentheses. So we're only going to stop, that's gonna be our base case. Did we use all parentheses? So really all we have to do is check if right is equal to zero. And if right is equal to zero, that means we've used all of them. I'll show you why we're not checking if left is equal to zero as well. Uh, and all we do is add, and one important thing is let's, let's have another one called path. And again, you'll see this all does make sense. I just want to get this function definition out there. So path is going to be our current, like basically DFS path, but really all path is, is our current string we've generated. So we're going to recursively generate each string. At the moment, right is equal to zero. We know we have a valid parentheses combination and we're going to add it to result here. And if not, we don't even need to return or break out of this uh, because we'll just have an if else, it'll terminate uh, if it reaches the end, uh, else. So what do we do here? Um, we have two options at every given spot in this recursive path. Uh, we can either choose a left parentheses or a right parentheses because those are the only characters that we can do. So when can we add a left? So we can always add a left. And the proof is, is let's say n equals three, right? Well, if we go like this and we do three left, right? That's valid so far. We just need to cap it off with three more closing. So really we can always add a, we can always add a left parentheses as long as there's a left parentheses. So how are we going to do that? Let's just make sure it's over zero. So if left is greater than zero, uh, that means we can, we can still add a left. So let's just DFS, keep going through, pass in res again. Uh, we decrement left because and that means we've drawn a left parentheses, so we have to go left minus one. Uh, with this recursive path, we did not draw a right, so we keep right as right. And then path, what do we do? We just simply add or concatenate a character, which is going to be a left parentheses. So that means we've added that to the path. And this could actually be like a string builder and you could like do some backtracking situation where you add and pop, but we're just gonna do a string here for now because if we look at constraints, it's uh, one to eight. so. Doing this isn't really an expensive operation. So next thing, this is gonna be like, a, this isn't going to be like an if else or anything. Uh, we're just gonna check, can we add our right? So what is the condition for right? You might think, oh, if right is equal to greater than zero, right? We don't really need to do that. We just need to check if right is greater than left. The reason being is we can at never at any point have more rights than lefts. And the proof of that is, uh, say we have like a two here, right? Uh, two opening here. If we add three closing, there's no way we can reconcile this. There's no way we can make this a valid parentheses at this point. 
Uh, if we ever have more right parentheses than left parentheses, it's automatically invalid. There's no way you can make that better. So right always has to be greater than left. If right is greater than left, that means we can take one, right? So let's copy this DFS call uh, down to here. And then the path, uh, we're going to add a closing, right? So once we do that, uh, left is not the one we're drawing from. So we get rid of that and we do right minus one. And then this is literally it right here. Uh, let's fill up this DFS. Uh, let's figure out what we have to do. Uh, result, we just pass through result. Uh, left starts off at N, right starts off at N, and path, what is path at the beginning? Well, we haven't drawn anything yet, so it's just simply an empty string. And then this should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and run this. And looks like it's pretty good. Let's submit this. And it looks like I did this before. 78%, um, 99% uh, space. So let's talk about time and space uh, while we're here. Uh, these are pretty good. I like these. Uh, let's talk about time and space for a second. Uh, talking about space. So if you want to call the recursive call stack a space, uh, it's actually just going to be n or constant, a fixed, or actually it'll be o of n space. The reason being is because if you want to call the recursive call stack a space, um, the deepest that this recursive tree will ever go is n, where n is the number of tokens. Because if you think about it, like what if we added all left parentheses, right? Um, we are going to have to ha add like uh, another n parentheses for it. So basically what I'm trying to say is uh, this is bounded to o n space because the amount of, max amount of recursive calls will be bounded to n. So that's for space, it'll be on, and the space is not like we're not using hash maps or arrays, the result array doesn't even count. So the space is strictly a recursive call stack thing. So time, time is a little tricky here. Um, what it actually is, is two to the n, and there's really no way you can like memoize this or anything. This is just how it is, and you might think that is horrible. Well, with based on the constraints, the max n ever goes is eight, and two to the eight, really isn't that bad it's like uh 256 or something so two to the n with this constraint is totally fine and that's just where it comes down to a knowledge of time complexity given your constraints so two to the n is horrible but it's not bad for this problem is what i'm trying to say and it's two to the n simply because for every n tokens uh we have two choices left or right right so that's why it's two to the n so yeah, I hope this made sense, and I hope it wasn't confusing. Uh, if you liked it, subscribe. If you didn't, I don't know. Uh, like it anyways, please. All right, thank you. Have a good one.